What's up, y'all? Oh my goodness, we're back. We're finally yeah. back. We did What's it. up, Sarah? We've got a couple folks in here. Thanks for coming out. we got Cy. Saw you back there earlier. Welcome, everyone. Yay. Well, we're going to just get straight into the chat, y'all. Oh my goodness. It's so good to be back, guys. So good to be back. One week felt like an eternity. I mean, we were talking about this earlier. It felt like an eternity, guys. When we're away from you guys for even a week, it just feels like, wow, where have we been? But guys, we've got some great stuff to talk about tonight. Um, there's so much coming up in the geek verse, Axel. Ugh. We can't even begin to tell you how much. There was is so up. much and so little weirdly. So there's so little until we get rolling with the ball on defenders. And defenders here. is basically the domino to everything, it, it guys. Really as is. soon as defenders starts, which is August. Ooh, next is that in two weeks actually? I think it's August seventeenth. It's either tenth or seventeenth, but. Once that is released, boom, everything else comes after that. Like Punisher. a domino effect. Oh, yeah. Uh, God, I, could, I, I love the fact that Punisher comes out almost coming? right after this. Yeah, thing. right after. And then in, in October, we also have the Arrowverse shows returning. We have, in November, we have Thor and Justice oh. League. Oh, my God. Which, by the way, we, and we talked about these trailers after uh, San Diego Comic-Con, but now we have more even to talk about in the two weeks we've been uh, away now. That we've gotten leaks of the Infinity Wars. Oh my trailer. god, the Infinity Wars trailer two came out late. Two of them. Yep, we got two. We got a new poster, by the way, Ooh. which shows all the updated looks. That's awesome. We've got what's up, Mandolin? Good to see ya. We've got so much coming up, guys. I mean, even just around the corner, you think in major movies, we got Justice League, we got Star Wars. Oh, wow. It's not even that far away. Star Wars, Last Jedi, guys. What's up, Felicia? Which Hi. we did have a little bit. More leaked, but there wasn't even that much. It was the leaked photos that came out maybe a couple weeks ago. They're not really freshly available, so if you haven't seen them, jump on them. Entertainment Weekly is the one who released them. And all of the photos contain different looks of um, Snoke, by the way, who is in light in his photo. Yeah, you he see that the... he's a Caucasian male. He's got the messed up scar. He's got a really jacked up face. It doesn't look like Mace Windu for all the people who are into that yep. theory. Unless you and got then, Michael Jackson. Right? <laughs> and we also have, um, who else we have? We have Captain Phasma. We've got oh, a picture yeah. of Kylo Ren. We've got a picture of Rey, who doesn't look that much different. Finn doesn't look that much different. No, no. Luke Skywalker. Mm, just shred, guys. Oh, just share, guys. What's up? Hey, Thank you, what's Cy? up, Cy? Thanks for coming Thanks back. For Long coming. time no see. Yeah, and by the way, guys, um, excuse us for not doing this at the very beginning, yeah, but always special thank you to our contributors of the Patreon. Thank Cy you so Kennedy, much. Susie Marie, and Tyler Lockridge. Thank you guys so, so much for your contributions. They've been very helpful in the process. Definitely, and it gives us, you know, it helps us keep on track, making sure that we're accountable to you guys. You know, we got... I think now, at least on Facebook, the Patreon, you guys are the only ones who catch the guff sometimes, and I try to make it up to you with extra stuff, patrons on the Patreon, but as far as Facebook goes, I don't think we've missed a comic book post in like three or four months almost. Period. Like, yeah, we've like, have been having a post every single day. I get the notification, and I'm like, there's the post, man. Yep. There it there's is. There's the post for this. Like, it's like, thing. you know what I mean? It's like clockwork, and I love it because I can almost... Like, plan my day. And for a while, Facebook was doing the you've been sharing this many days in a row, and I think mm -hmm. it br I broke it because now it won't really? go past three. Oh, man. That's great. So it won't go past three days? Like, I, it, I hit, like, scheduling. 30 or 60 days or wow. something, and then after that, it was just, like, or maybe 90. It was a ton. It was a ton of days. And then now, like, I get it every once in a while, but it's always, like, three days here and, like... Uh, yeah, like, maybe a four or five Yeah, here when there. I, and I know this one every That's day. You don't have to try scheduling a couple days out then because I have not experienced that problem. It's... But anyway, guys, yeah, stirring guys back been. into the conversation oh, of amazing geeky stuff coming up, guys. I mean... We've just seen so many... So many good things. So... So much. I, I believe uh, what's first isn't it Justice League then Thor or Thor then Justice League Thor then Justice or Justice League then Thor I thought Justice so. League's the third I think November yeah. it's the first super week early it's like right at yeah, the start it's the first Friday and then Thor is second or third Friday yeah like 12 12 13 so mm -hmm. whatever, you know it's, and we've gotten we, we've oh been over these before but Thor there is, hi, Izzy. they're both gonna be great what's up Israel thanks for joining Izzy always a pleasure to have you in the combo you know the 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 consensus is that Justice League is going to be better than Thor, and that's what I'm hoping for. I honestly really do, especially considering Thor's history. Yeah. Thor has had, at best, 
maybe the opening movie be- being the best. That of. second one was not a no go, my man. Although I, the, my note about the second one that always just makes me laugh is something my mother told me when she watched it. She's like, I never understood why you had to have the shot of the woman in her underwear or her bikini until I saw that movie and I saw Thor without a shirt on. Yep. And I was like, that's something I both never wanted to know, but it's also really fucking cool to be like, oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, they, they have the female lens, man. Yeah. It's pretty so nice. It's not, and they did not... that in their first movie as well. What's up, I'm Izzy? really just excited for it. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I really... They just released uh, Pennywise's voice, right? They did some recording. Oh, man, yeah. The trailer, too, is Yeah, the best fantastic. part of Thor 2 was the after credits. Yeah, that was real funny. Seriously, Dylan, because, I mean... I love, and here's the thing, I love those little Thor skits with his roommate. Those are so and great. I thought, and I thought this is how the Thor movie should have been the whole time. I'm like, they're not nearly that comedic. The Thor movies, especially no, that they're first probably one, the very least, serious. And I think that's the problem, is they definitely, well, the first one was, was very serious, but it had comedy. It did. It had it breaks had of enough, humor. Whereas 2 was so serious with Malekith <sighs> and Loki and... And all this stuff happening that there was almost no room for the traditional Marvel superhero movie that everybody has come to love and respect and that even DC and other companies have begun Scooped to up on, yeah. yeah. why wouldn't you? I mean, even... Uh, you just saw something that, that I would consider loosely a superhero and I would try to get your take on it, but the Atomic Blonde. Atomic guessing, Blonde. Valerian as well, because they're both based on comic books. Yeah. What's up, Chris Winslow? What's hey, up, dude? Hey, how's it going, I Chris? I think we had a comment in. back there. Oh, oh yes, we yeah, do. Yeah, we do. Hope they market Thor right so JL doesn't completely dominate, though. Looking forward to both with my Marvel favor, though. Although, you know, <laughs> speaking of... You know, the Oops. consensus being that Justice League may be better, but I think there was a big fight going on for a while about the number of views between Thor and Justice League trailers. And Thor like, was the very top trending after SDCC. Like, and I don't blame him. Unfortunately, that trailer, maybe not the movie itself, but the trailer for Thor, I believe, was better. Much, much because better. Because it was com- comedic. It, it's a dark light thing. When you have comedy, it makes the dark kind of, oh, I'm hella queen of death or, or, you know, god of death more serious and like, Asgard will burn. It's like, oh, Asgard will burn because he was just laughing a second ago and now he's not laughing. It gives it weight because yes. it shows progression. Now, it shows and, it from well, their and also com- comedy just, and going to their, yeah. their more serious moments because that's a smoother transition than just being serious the whole time. Because if you're ser- if you have a serious tone in your entire, most of your For training, example, the Justice League did a very good, better job than they u- were doing in previous exactly. movies. Exactly, and I was For just example, about to get to that. Yeah. Justice League, the Justice League trailer was basically just a he- another piece of heavy dialogue that I was like, okay, here we go, this is a Batman versus Superman tone of the movie even, which, because their trailers definitely didn't portray that. Oh, God. But the trailer of this one, I'm like, I'm feeling this heavy dialogue, very not very funny, only the Aquaman scene where he's like, we're all gonna die, that's... That was, the there, part there was one or two comedic. And oh, they some all flash stuff. They all did, but and and to the to their credit, those are more uh, some somewhat more comedic characters than the rest of the league. Susie, hi Susie, what's up? Hey, Susie hey, was this, not this too pleased with just Larry a little bit. That. Here we got. I despise, I despise two, two, but when I watched it again, it wasn't as bad. Still Thor, not yep, definitely, definitely. Oh wait, um, there was one above that. It says, uh, oh, oh, it's what's up, though. Hey. Was not too pleased with Valerian. Yeah, uh, is he? Uh, Valerian was awful. There was no plot other than the cool things to look at. It and was here, okay. and I, I'll get into Valerian just for just a quick second. Valerian, if you read the, if you've read any of the comics, you'll know that the movie is terrible. If you haven't read any of the comics, it's maybe like a five out of ten. <laughs> if you read the comics, it drops into a four out of ten, which sucks because it's Valance first drop into the universe, and they really. But with the cinematics, that like I've heard such good things. Or sorry, wait, with is the Valerian visuals, Valiant or not Val? Is it? It's like a French comic, so it's kind of uh, like I think out it's of in that field. thing. Is it Valiant? I don't. I don't think so. I man. don't think it's originally Valiant, but I think it's Let's currently see. one of their titles. Oh, oh, has it? Has it? Uh, right. I think they have Valiant. I think it's currently like. No, I mean it's not copping up, so it might not be. Yeah, I think it would have popped up if it was Valiant. Well, hold on. What the hell? Yeah, I don't think it is. That's that's. 
Let's see what. Got to do our fact checking, y'all. But um, what's up? Just got off work. Tyler, what's up, my man? By the way, thank you for contributing to the Patreon. Very, very fantastic stuff, guys. Let's see. They had so much content to go off of and messed up what really missed. Wait, messed up what really messed it up was they picked the wrong actors. Thank you. Thank you. They should have not picked the Valerian. The guy who played Valerian should have never been picked. Oh my goodness. Let's see the cast. I'll look up the cast real quick because I just always, that guy, always, I always forget his name. Dane DeHaan. Yes. He. Mm mm. He was not the right choice. He, by the way, guys, he was also the um, guy who plays Green Goblin in Amazing Spider-Man 2. If you need a little bit of context. Got a very kind of dry personality, but tries to be a show-off. Hey, Axel, I leave Monday for basic. Hope you have a great six months. Haha, ha, that's when I get out. Hey, you too, buddy. Have a great time in basic. I hope you, you know, get all the skills and things that you need but to you- do better stuff, man, and make make good... Move with I that. Haven't seen I believe in you, Chris. So hold on, Axel. You it, rem- you remember? Uh, huh? Oh, I was gonna say I figured out what uh, the company was. It's called Dargaud. Dar- yep, yeah, it's French. Yeah. And uh, da- so Dandy Han was the guy who played Valerian, and Valer er, he's the same guy who plays Harry Osborn in Amazing Spider-Man Two. Maybe he needs to stop playing sp- superhero. Period. Movies. Like this guy is like. Okay, he comes. Here, he here's how his acting skills come off to me. He's like wants to be gruff and tough, but he's not because he's a short, thinner guy. So he's not intimidating, and it just doesn't mix that well. And the thing about Dane DeHaan being Valerian is Valerian is this just very like courageous hero, the typical you know American hero, always wants to do the do the good for the right for the the cause of the good. Excuse me, he just always wants to be good to be good. This guy is not at all like that. He's very cocky. He only wants to impress the girl or Laura Lynn. I I can't I can't follow that when the original Valerian is just like bless you. When uh the original Valerian is like this very courageous hero who does good for doing good, just like Cap. Like he's very like Cap like in his in his courageous and sensible moments. And this guy's a show off? Like this guy is just a yeah, cocky show off who wants to impress Laura Lynn, his partner. Yeah, it was not very... It, like I said, it was very divergent. Felt like they just picked the girl actor just for sex appeal. I thought she was a pretty good Laureline, though, Izzy, and you the, you recommended the book to me. She's a very... She's she's a decent Laureline. She was a much better Laureline than Dane DeHaan was a Valerian. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good comparison, though. You know what I mean? Or a good level to make that... Uh, well, have you read the Valerian comics? Yeah, but that's what I mean, though, is like, he, it, you know, he didn't make a very good Valerian... In many ways in that movie. And, so much. Like, I'd give him, for the Valerian portrayal, like a 3 out of 10? Have you seen Valerian? hmm Yeah, it's... Now, I will agree, she question. did a better job, because I've also read the comic and seen the movie, but... Like I said, I, I, she didn't do so great that I would, like... She's she's she more alive. She saves the movie, yeah. She, no. She didn't... Saved the movie she for me, but she was a better Laura Yeah, yeah she, she's a better Laura she, And I, like I said, it's one of those things where it's like... And thank you also, by the way, Chris. That, good luck. You too, man. Uh, I liked her as a character, but I felt like they tried to make her just nothing but sexy. I... Mm, I saw that. I saw a lot of the male gaze, and that happens in a lot of superhero movies, period. In a lot of comic movies, period. It does. But I get what you're saying. They almost tried to, like really over-sexualize her in some scenes, like she's in really short shorts on the beach scene where he's, like, fully suited up going after them with the guns. I saw Dunkirk, very, very good movie. I feel as a lot of people should see that. Dunkirk is great. Um, I, to be honest with you, the only <laughs> pieces I've seen of Dunkirk is the seven minutes of the film, the seven-minute trailer or whatever, yeah, and I already is, know it's fantastic. Yeah, the, 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 me and Izzy both saw that trailer actually at the same time. We thought it was like we were in the wrong... Movie. Yeah, a lot of people were like, are we in the wrong movie? But, uh, you know, I could also tell you, like, just from seeing that, that I'm sure that it's, 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 it seems like it's capturing the real spirit of war, which we as civilians don't get to see a lot or even delve it's into. Even experience. Yeah, it's, it's not a thing. Hey, what's up, what's up Mikey? Mikey? Thanks for coming back, man. I see there's a lot of hype around that Player One movie. Heard the book was great. So Cassie Nancy said. Yeah, I, I, I've been hearing a lot of hype around that, especially after Comic-Con. 
I heard some, Definitely. but I'm, I lost track of the hype after uh, SDC. Well, that ha- that hype train has ended, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I, I caught it while it was here. I, yeah. What does that say? KC Nist. Okay. Nist that say? I, I well, can't see yeah. that. I, yeah, it was right at the bottom. Yep, and so, so we've we've covered November. We haven't covered, and we've covered the movies a decent amount. You know, we don't want to go too deep into like Star Wars and some of the December stuff because there's tons of more oh, episodes man. before well, we get I, there. And I can go forever. Oh yeah, there's... We, we're doing a shorter cast tonight, guys, and we'll definitely be having specific themed. So yeah, I guess moving down the list, we could even go and delve a little bit into TV shows. Um, Defenders. I mean, Heavy. even. This um, is we got, let's see, Punisher. We also have the Arrowverse, and we have the Star Trek Discovery, which we just looked up. It has a ten out of ten already, but I think we think it might be a few critics. Well, the thing is, we need more. Yeah, we need we, we need, need a lot diverse. more viewers. Yeah, we need a more diverse. And even and even to mix, we need a mix of both Trekkies, diehards. Well, that's people what I'm saying. You have to have that, have to have that very diverse uh, study group. You can't just have it's a very rainbow. limited. It's the science. In us and Star Trek. No, but also just, you know, that's movies. You know, they, they check that stuff. Demographics and years, you know. Movies, a lot of movies. Like, for example, Luke Cage. You know, great movie for every Or not great movie. Great series for everybody. Always does better with minority and low-income people. Because we can relate to the oh, messages. We, we can few more. Oh, oh, yeah. They're popping up. Oh, right. I'm right. getting it going. Everyone's fine. <laughs> Remember, they're, like, they're here this week. I like the homages they did for Player One. Agreed. It was very great. You really got a good visual of the war from torpedoes to dogfights in the sky to more. Very great. Fantastic to hear, Chris. I still got to see it. Still, 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 still got to see it. I'm definitely going to try to make it this weekend. I heard it's the best to see in IMAX just because of how the movie is actually filmed. But I will definitely... Fingers crossed that it's still an IMAX because... I That's think, the best format to view it in. Yeah, IMAX is a really good format in general. I'm really period, good. but but it's shot on a what 74 mm camera, so it's like it fits yeah, a lot it's better on an IMAX screen versus fitting on a full screen where you have to cut out some of the shot, you have to cut out some of the picture. I'd much rather see that full scene. Let's see, some old guys that fought at Dunkirk said it was realistic, amazing. Fought? Can you go into detail about that? Was there like a legit fight? I was talking with the new Black Canary on Twitter today about our favorite YouTubers, LL. Fun fact, she was a YouTuber before she got that part. Wow, that's really cool. The Black Canary from Green Arrow? That's awesome. That's really tight. I actually didn't know that, and I'll try tweeting her sometime. Excited for anything in the comic book world? We got Generations so that just came up. Which I was not... Uh... Not impressed. Not impressed? No. Oh, that's so sad to hear. It, you know, and in retrospect, it's better than when I was reading, because the problem is the hype. Like, they've hyped Generations so much that you want this amazing, groundbreaking story. This is not Generations Avengers, though. This is the Generation crossover events they were talking about. Okay. This is not uh, the main event, which is te- which is Avengers 1 million B.C., I just need to hear something crushing to bring me back over to Marvel, y'all. I'm I mean, definitely taking my break from them. This one is interesting, but the... the well, and to be fair, it's one. One out of the... However many comics they're going to release. My problem is, it's the whole comic. So it needed to be on point for me. He said he didn't get to read the Hulk generations. Just just like you're talking about now. Legacy. That. Legacy. That's that's the thing. Generations isn't the main events. Legacy is the main and event. is that what's come That's out? what's okay. come... No, wow. Legacy didn't come out. Generations came out. Gotcha. And Generations, so Generations was what they were talking the about. Side, the side stories. It's the interlude to gotcha. Legacy. So it we'll basically... Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And, and it actually does start... And it starts off a little weird because it's like out of nowhere. It doesn't really lead from Secret Empire yet... Because Secret Empire is no. still in the way. <laughs> I don't know. It, but the first thing was, it was like, I don't really want to ruin it. I don't know if you're going to check them out. So I don't want to. Uh, like, I'm going to check them out, man. So, so I, I don't want to ruin them. Keep it light. The thing is, the, the premise is the same, though, for all of these, is that the, the current iteration of the character goes back in time and meets the past iteration okay. of the character. And so. Not, too, not so bad. No, and that's the basic premise of all of them Thor, uh, Hulk. Uh, I think Cap and then a couple others are doing. I don't remember. People want oh, to Ring call it the Rebirth too. event. Oh, which is awesome. Which also has that one come out? No, 
No, but it's going to be awesome. I, I know that one will work. Because everything they've been doing for Old Man Logan and Wolverine and any of the X-23 characters in general has just been awesome. They've added new characters. It's the stuff I X-23. have read, yes. she is a fantastic character. And then they're making... Down. Was it just Hulk that came out? I'm not sure. It, the Hulk's the only one I got to read. People uh, want I to call it, it the rebirth of someone, it. Which is so weird to me because Secret Wars was rebirth <coughs> for for Marvel, like, in every sense of what it is. Although... But I wouldn't uh, mind a reset button B- on Marvel. BT dubs, right now I wouldn't. Before Secret Empire, everything was pretty decent. Was was nice, but... But it just, just tearing II, down yeah. these characters, I'm, I'm done with Yeah, that. I'm done with that. Yeah, and Civil War two was ended it for me. I love Gabby and... Yes, X-23, Gabby. Oh, uh, thanks, but, Tyler. Yep, yeah, thank you, Tyler. Thank you. But Gabby and X-23... Is my favorite. There's a scene. I'm gonna ruin it for you because I have to tell them. Oh uh, wait, this isn't in Generations, right? No. Oh no, no, okay. No, no. This okay. is in X. This is in. Uh, this is in Wolverine. Okay, Wolverine. I've I've read that. Okay. You've read great, the new great. one. I've read some all new Wolverine. Well, this one's pretty recent. Yeah, I'm not. It's it, well, caught it's up not. If it's, you ruin it for it, me, I won't mind. It's not plot based either. It's just okay, a good. scene. And basically, they're in the hospital, and uh, she, uh, Gabby, who is a, a younger cloned version of. X-23, mm-hmm. uh, for the people at home who don't know, uh, is in the hospital, and Deadpool's laid out, because, for whatever okay, reason, so they've taxed their behind. healing. I've, oh, yeah. I know, I know Gabby. And yeah, no, no, well, and, and so, basically, um, what happens is she gives him a gift, and, and he opens it, and Wade starts crying. He's like, I can't believe she gave me the finger. <laughs> and, she, and everyone's like, what? It's like, she doesn't feel pain, so she gave me her finger. Oh, man. And it's just like instant best friends, instant best friends. It was Besties. such a cute scene. That's it was awesome. it was awesome. And you'll see it's one of the most recent ones, I think, like the last two or three, but it's mm. such a it's not important to the plot and it's yeah, such it's a great that, scene. That, that, character scene. Yeah. yeah, those great character Speaking developing. Speaking of moments. plot, D C right now I fucking just read Batman. How's Batman going? They are just now two things, okay. They're just now getting into metal, which is Doom's Clock event, which is... There's this whole thing, you know what I mean? It's all connected or whatever. And so they're getting into... Oh, what's up, Felicia the, Richards? Sorry, the comments aren't really low. Oh, yeah, they're, 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 they're taking they're a while. here. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah. Let's see if we can get pull a fresh, fresh one here. But. Yeah, and remember, guys, when you comment, you drive the conversation, you know, you get us to talk yeah, about guys, what you want. By the way, you're let's, interested in. We, will, we will open this up again, um... Let's open up a question. What is the movie slash TV series slash comic? What is the media slash video game? What is the media you're looking forward to the most? A Batman metahuman? Okay, so oh, no, that was actually what? in Detective Comics. And no. technically, no. So we're, we're going to go over this because Scott Snyder even addressed this on Twitter if you go look it up, I think. and Because that's the big thing is like he's revealed his metahuman. He Batman. is he is only metahuman now. He was not he is not retroly metahuman. Okay, so this is like he's always been. No, there was a point in his past, and I can't remember exactly when. This is the only thing is I don't know where they put it. Who in said the it on Twitter? One. I think it's Scott Snyder has said that he is that the the metahuman thing has been blown out of proportion because they did mention something about. Uh, Although, who knows how long ago this was. People. Right. Does he even have a Twitter account? I don't know. And if I if it is, I don't know where... How'd you find it? Because it's... it's the, I believe he's the brother of... Uh, Zack Snyder. Uh-oh, we gotta get to these comments oh, here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so we won't go too far into it, but the basic thing... I forgot when they say it happened. They said it happened... Uh, during one of his encounters with Satana in the Di- Dionysius metal, which is the metal oh, they're dealing hell. with, and what it is is it it basically per- it it preserved slash put him at like peak physical condition. So it, it was kind of a cat. It pull. changed him into a. Nah, I, I guess it's, that it's not necessarily that. It's it's it. Well, that's what they said. They, I can't remember. It's one or the other. It either. Let him reach his limits, or it kept him at his limits. Where well, it sounds already like it is it. a metahuman thing, though, right? You it, guys are discussing it's it, a metahuman. It was, and it is, but it's like I said, it's retroactive only to to some me, to some point. Which yeah, whichever was, was Zatanna. Right. I can't wait for Pug B. Oh, uh, I want to. I want to play some, but I gotta go get it online. I still just haven't bought it because I'm lazy. 
I really do want to play it. It's supposed to be pretty fun. What game Although is that? the uh uh public underground, right? Uh ground Yeah, once that comes to console, I'll get on it, but I ain't on that computer shit. Oh, I love the computer shit. It's so fucking Let's clean. See. I forget when they said it. Oh, Justice yeah. League looks great. Justice League is gonna be great. Oh I man, gotta say. I'm just you know, I'm not I'm not going in with any expectations. I'm telling like you, that's the only way to go. Like, like huh. I now here and there's the thing, I the difference know. between an expectation and knowing for me is like I know Justice League is gonna be great. I just I, know, I just do, can't assume. I I just know. Now do I expect it to be great? No. When I go in there, I'm gonna have zero expectations. I'm gonna I be afraid a blank I, slate. You know what's sad too? I knew Wonder Woman was gonna be good. I knew it was going to be their best yet, the DCEU I'm talking about. So I had a Man of Steel, Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, and this movie, it's the best. Hands down, so far. Justice League, I just, I'm gripping my tongue because I really, really wanted Batman vs. Superman to be that good. I wanted Batman vs. Superman to be what Justice League should be. And after Man of Steel, I knew... Now, did I want or expect something different? Maybe, but I knew Batman vs Superman was not going to be to my caliber. <sighs> and see, that's After why. I, and and see, game. that's why I'm iffy about Justice League because that was so bad, Axel. I wanted after seeing Man of Steel, I didn't have high expectations, but I still wanted that movie to be great. And see, that's sometimes you want something too bad and you can't. You know what yeah, I mean? And it's, I just couldn't get it. Me. I couldn't get it from Batman vs Superman at all. Let's see. We yep. got Spider-Man It's not Homecoming. worth the thirty dollars they want for it. <laughs> yeah, for pub, it's not. Yeah, we got uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Any thoughts? Loved it. We we talked a little earlier, but we our general consensus being that it's probably one of one of the best depictions of Spider-Man, Peter Parker, physically as a character uh, and the thing. Now that does not necessarily make it the best Spider-Man movie. And here's and we'll lay it out for this way. Uh, yes, best Spider-Man character, just exactly like you just said. The reason why it's not the best movie, guys, is because Spider-Man Two ha- at least had one that was successful. So he put in that formula and even a better villain and a better portrayal in two. So we we get basically take one, copy the pretty good formula that Sam Raimi had for number one. Paste it into two with an even better villain, better portrayal, more time, more production, a second iteration of this character. We discount Homecoming slightly a bit because it's Tom Holland's first. Now, we can compare Spider-Man 2 or whatever to to this, to this Spider-Man 2. We can compare Spider-Man Homecoming 2 to Spider-Man 2. You can't do that with Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man 2 that much. You can you can say between movies they they're this 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 and this, but you cannot deny that Spider Man Two had backing and a lot of clout before it came out because it had the first one. Not to Spider-Man, mention it would also have high expectations. Absolutely, to. it did, and it lived up to those expectations right, enough to get a third so movie much. for sure. Oh. Which we got to mention, uh, Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider Man did not did not make it three movies, which mm-hmm. is rare. And it didn't live a, up. It didn't live up to. It's hype Spider-Man at all. Two. <laughs> or its own hype. Yeah. Uh, it's an amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, but, circling back around, um, is, Homecoming was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Izzy says, meh for justice, which is what a lot of people are feeling after the last one. Honestly, I really liked the last trailer. Because I felt like, even though it was heavy dialogue and not as much action I wanted, they did slip in the comedy, which I feel they were sorely missing. Even when it wasn't like super close, like, don't worry, I've got this, Alfred. Right. Do I know it was, you? It was more. It was a DC style comedy, and I'm hoping that they slip a lot of that into the movie. Please. Uh, did she ask before? Are you guys P- PS or did Xbox? I ask? Oh, uh, P- uh, PlayStation Four, Xbox, Xbox One, One. Um, and Nintendo Switch. If you have that, what's up, Andrew? Good to I'm see you, man. I'm also a PC gamer. Considering in this day and age that Homecoming passed in, bo- in box office with piracy and shit is always impressive. That's true. We always forget to count in piracy, but you also have to count in the the rise in the number of movie viewers and goers that exponential human growth accompanies with, as well as the change in inflation that you have to account for. Now, I don't I'm not saying they haven't accounted for that, but just saying those are two factors that are often forgotten. And you also have to look back at the fact that going to 
the movies is seen as a very popular affair. It's also not that expensive, depending on your budget. We can, um, it it's especially for somebody who goes to the lengths of getting cheaper tickets, going to earlier times, seeing movies after they've been released, couple weeks after. It's a commodity. Movies are a commodity, and they always will be, even though they're pirated. It's just like games. You still buy and play video games. You're still gonna buy a movie ticket and go to the movies. Yep. There's there's something about experience that, and the same with music. You know, there's you go to console, but it's uh, like you got a CD, but you want to go to the console. Yeah. There's always going to be a level for it in a in a market. How excited are you for Rick and Morty season three? So excited that I already watched the second episode. <laughs> I, I I have not been spoiled. I have not seen it. I have gotta it go watch. DVR. It's on Adult Swim. For right oh now. yeah, it is. It's on Adult Swim. It's I time, have it recorded. Though, I know. And, it's so much. It's for us guys. Like the amount of work slash media we have to ingest and create, it, it makes it really hard for us to like. Period. S- like I probably s- don't even really sleep that much anymore. Just to be honest, yeah. five, maybe five hours max if I'm lucky. Um, had me on Xbox Underground Fish. Nice. I got you, bro. PC Master Race. All other plebeians. JK all Sonic. others are plebe. I have. I have a. I have a fucking mouse pad that says that shit. It's it's from the Consoles. meme. It's from the meme though. The, oh, that okay. one that one video where it's like puny console <laughs> where he's fucking Man. butts just fucking lame. So, they're so funny. Let's see. Because it just makes fun of their their uh, how funny they all are. Hey, awesome! Hey, what's up, Thank everybody? You, Thanks for joining. And everybody, honestly, you know we're doing good. It's great to get back on this after a week's break. Sometimes you don't expect to have Reach so much going. But, Hi, and guys, oh, yeah. we're doing very well tonight. Um. I guess we can even talking about video games. We can move into video games a little bit that are coming. There's up. There's some, a couple drops. Pub, pub, uh, players underground battle or players unknown battleground has gotcha. been a huge one. Really? It, it just started dropping out. Like I mean, even the professional streamers were playing it. That's good. That's and it's good. not a quick concept. You drop in, uh, stack up, kill people, and a. Uh, it's it reminds me actually. It's it reminds me of a. Uh, God damn it! What is that? The the, the Japanese anime slash TV show where they like take all the ki- the school kids and put them on an island and make them kill each other if you've never seen that one it's like a classic and it's like it's the it's one of the original ones of that it that all the others are based off of Red Dead Redemption any hype I have not yet gotten to try it I need to go get my I already pre-ordered too I need to go get it uh, Black oh, Desert nice. Online isn't that bad so much to do uh, which is a game Mikey's been playing which that movie it's is crazy. really which movie? Which movie? Which movie, Dondre? A lot of movies are crazy. Though. Black Desert Online. Oh, the crazy. movie he's talking. He knows the movie I'm talking about. It is crazy. Oh, okay. But no, boom. it's that's not the one, Michael. That's a newer version of that one. Um, I have to go look it up now. But the, Batum's a newer version. That one's actually based off of a video game, Michael. The other one, they literally just Batum take is these kids. Awesome. <laughs> it is awesome, but it's ba- like all all those kinds of ones like Batum are based off this one originally. Which is based off of an old Japanese TV show. I've been on GTA a lot lately with friends up there. Dang it, Sai, why don't you have PS4? Because I've been on GTA GT- so much. Hit me up, man. I'm ah! on PC. No, I can't play with either. I can't play with either of you because I'm only on <coughs> GTA on PC. <laughs> Bam, there you go. After training, I'm going to get a B set up for computer. Nice. Nice. Called oh, Battle yes. Royale, yes. Oh, the you- Battle Royale. Okay, That's this the is one. the movie we're talking about? Oh, it's it's a movie, an anime, and it's originally from Japan. They have a battle royale, battle royale and like all, then that, that's the premise, guys. Is they just take these kids for no reason, basically, yep. for a TV show, oh, and they man. give them guns and like bombs and knives and shit, and set them out in the on an island somewhere in Japan and have them mm-hmm. kill each other to the last person. Right, basically. and they say Hunger Games got its plot from uh, this virtual reality. Like I would watch three more seasons of Batum. I would, but the the manga actually got pretty man. If, if, got, they, if they can keep the anime up, I'm down. I would... Uh, the story's hard to keep going. Like, VR. eventually you just kill everybody or you have to add new people, you know what I mean? Right, VR? VR for his rig. Virtual Oh, okay. Virtual okay, reality, gotcha. yeah. I'll watch uh, that. That'll be pretty cool, Chris. Virtual reality is cool, but I don't have the space. They say you need, like, a 30-foot space to play VR. Yeah. A pretty you big... You gotta have a good radius, man. And I wouldn't doubt it, and I don't have the space. I have the money now too. Like it's a cup. They it's really come down. It's super affordable now. It's mm-hmm. it's basically only Rift barely more than a. I mean the Oculus Rift. You've still got the uh, 
What's the what, the other one? The um, I mean, if you count PSVR, that's that's console PSVR, VR. PSVR, you, uh, you get Oculus Rift, and then there's one more. Why am the I the H H R V Vive or something? Vive, yep, the Vive, Vive, yeah. Yep. Uh, and so those are the three main HTC, HTC one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. And the Vive, I think that might even be another one. Cause yeah, there is there. The Vive is uh, Steam's HTC Vive. Yeah. Whew. And eight hundred dollars. That's not that bad, though. That's that's the starting price. Five. Like I said, the the most affordable one is probably still PlayStation VR. Yeah, which is what three hundred, four hundred. Yeah, that but really that's not accounting the other investment of uh, the console. Right, if you don't have it. Right. So if you if you don't have the console, then it's roughly the same price. Roughly as about four hundred dollars. So if you have the console, if you wanted to get the console and the VR system, it's basically the same price as like the Rift. Or so the I would. Although the op the uh, the added bonus being that if you did it the PlayStation way you could play, get PlayStation games to play them as well. Sorry, the heist update is freaking awesome. Got back into it lately, saving up for the bunker for the research and exploding bullets. <laughs> I keep the, the thing is I just my problem is I have to spend so much time to stack money in that game. Yeah, you gotta to buy the new shit, bro. That or buy shit because like literally they release that, a new car pack every these. three weeks, right? And all the cars are like three million dollars, and I'm like, it takes even if I pull a successful heist, it takes me forty minutes. I'll maybe At make a hundred grand if I'm lucky. I'll make a fucking five or something. But you have to have a super good heist and have a super good score and the the. Um, possibilities of that happening are low. Super low. I'd rather save up for a new computer than waste money on VR. You, I mean, uh, that's cool, but you still have to get VR, VR equipment awesome. if you want to do yeah, VR. I mean, I, like, I, like, that's the thing. It's like, computer's cool, but it still doesn't do virtual reality. Exactly, and if you have a good computer rig right now, give it a shot. If well, you the, like, of course. The thing, Well, that's my thing, is like, that's cool, but that doesn't exclude the fact that then you can't play any VR games. I mean, you can, but you just can't play VR. Right. You want, you want the VR as well. If well, you like want, I said, it's like virtual reality, that's the whole point, is that you can actually interact, you know, with the movement and, and have it, a 3D it, dimensional That, that thing. pretty much boils down to just whether, if you want VR or not. If it's important to you, like grab I said, it. If not, don't. Right. As like I said, if you like playing on a controller... You know, and, and then you're probably fine. VR, though, I mean, I, I do want to get PSVR eventually. Waiting for it to come down in price a little. I'll admit it. Uh, I think it is also. I'm, I'm waiting. I think the prices are okay now that I would get it, but my thing is I'm waiting for more games to come out. There aren't enough yeah. games yet that, that I my feel big enough. Switch. I mean, there are a ton of games. Like, they, the, the, the VR has, like, way more than Switch has, for It example. does, but that's, but, that, I'm saying, uh, in, comparatively... That's the problem with Switch. There's not enough games. I want I want a very solid, heavy collection of games, and I think that'll be the last console I buy that early. Haven't played VR since I think it was Time Cop. Oh wow! Damn. What console should reality? I get? PS4 Virtua or Cop? Xbox One S? Is that Virtua Cop? Uh, what console yeah. should I get? It depends on what you want to do, really. Honestly, Chris, it boils down to this question. Are you Sony or are you Microsoft? Yeah. That's really what it boils down to. They're both They both basically do the same yeah. thing. The I think the, the difference being is uh, the Xbox One is more geared to being a media center. It that, is. And uh, the PlayStation is more geared to being a game center and, and guys, a media center. Fun fact, the app used the most on Xbox One's Xbox Live is Netflix. But not, a ga- not the gaming app. But it's it is not games. But it's because Netflix, you don't have to pay for a subscription. Anymore. I know, and I, but still, I don't want a media center, bro. I want, I want games. Oh, I need, I need everything. I want, I, I, need I have a media center. I want, I want oh, a heavy focus on gaming. And that's why I back Sony, one hundred percent. Yeah, probably not gonna go back to Microsoft, especially after I got a red ring of death. Fuck that. It's way too expensive. I'm lucky I can do the cocaine missions with friends and earn about a half a million a day if I grind. Bunker's like five million with everything, though. Just got CEO building and need the chopper. For two Ooh, million. go for that chopper, man. The nice. The chopper is good. You do basically have to run with a crew, though. And I try to get my crew to run, but then we uh, we run into problems. I was just, I was just like, Aaron, wait for me. No, no right? Fucking shoots out the tires. I can't believe you shot out my tires, you guys. <laughs> I want to have what my friends have, but not sure what everyone has. Ah, feel free to yeah, post check, it up on that, Facebook. That's account. the other thing I will say, too, is the more important part, even than if you're PC or Microsoft, what do your friends play on? If all your Because I used to be a PlayStation kit guy when I was younger. I I backed 
uh, PS2 over Xbox, PS3, PS3 over, over Xbox, Xbox 360. Uh, I was actually but, Xbox 360. No. But I had to. I liked the PlayStation more, but because all of my friends were Xbox players, I bought the Xbox, which was go. the smart choice. Yeah. I could play Halo. I could play Gears of War with them. I could, which back then, and you know, it's fun. The the fun of gaming, especially now, is having the friends to play with. Yeah, it's if, fun to go If you're with looking friends. to play for yourself, it really doesn't matter what you're playing. Yeah, exactly. And if you, especially if you're looking to play with your by yourself right now, <laughs> now. if you're looking to play by yourself with yourself, do do your thing. But if you're looking to play it by yourself, um, get a Switch. Honestly, I will say there's not a heavy online community. It's very having physically friends over to play with you. And if not and a Switch, maybe not, the PSP. That's the only... Oh, uh, man. I, I would recommend... Uh, um, well, I thought the Vita a DS was pretty a good. More, I don't like the DS, PSP. man. I, I, I never liked the DS that much. The PS PSP Vita is just, to me, is barf. Axel... I'll get glav tonight when I get paid. Hey, hey, looks like you got a gaming session coming up. You better come, because I know Aaron will come, you asshole. It's a five-hour wait time for your... Oh, why did that not refresh? What do you guys have? Oh, I have a PlayStation 4 and a Switch. He's got an Xbox One and a computer. Yep. Also, PC... The reason PC is a master race is not because of graphics, blah, blah, blah. It is because of game, game availability. availability. You can get any game, and not just current consoles, any game in the fucking world on a, and on your phone now, though. You can get fucking game emulators on yeah, your phone. Yeah, you can. You can download an emulator on your phone. And, that, and that's my other thing is, is now... now people. Like, don't get it, discouraged. Yeah, any anyone you want. And trust me, uh, that people have been working on that shit. Trust me. If you've thought of it, there's a coder out there who's already said, I want this done. Boom. And did it. Uh, and like I said, the, the funny part being that phone games now are even becoming so complex. Like, I've seen mobile phone games, yeah. like League of Legends, where you can just... My friend showed me when I was like, no, if I get that, I'll never do anything. Phone is becoming almost a commodity in itself, like a console market in itself. I want DayZ and Arma 3. Or is he mean Day... DayZ? And Arma 3. Hmm. What's Hi, up, Adam? Adam? Good Thanks to see you, man. In, man. That's odd. Uh, you know, I'm going to get a PC very soon, but... Until then, console is a master race for me. It's like, it's, it's like, until I get a PC. You need four for a heist, too, which most of the time, a ten-year-old random, random fucks, fucks it. it up on you. I don't like calling kids little shitty fucks, but shit, wasting my time, Mello Man. <laughs> you didn't know what that is? I recently purchased FFT, or Final Fantasy X. Nice! Uh, is that Tactics or Ten? No, it's I Tactics. It's tactics, it's yeah, tactics. War of the Lions! <laughs> I love that game. And don't right? you bullshit I me. Love that you game. did not purchase that, you mother... You you told me you got it for free with your purchase of your other game. Well, hey, he got it. And that's I know, but he awesome didn't purchase game. it. Have you played that game? I have played what it a little bit. It's such a good game. I love that game. Oh, my God. I could go on, hour, on hours on why that game is and good. As for Chris, you, no, I, I don't think I know DayZ and Arma. I don't three. know what I know Arma, Arma I think, but I don't play much Arma. But DayZ, isn't that that computer zombie game? Oh, isn't okay. Those tactics, ones. 5 dollars Cheap. I recently purchased it. Yeah, tactics. You know what's so. BS, Mikey? Is I purchased it when it first came out, and it was like $13. You got, dude, you got to wait for the sales. I never, I almost, unless it's the hype game that you have to have, I never buy it right wait, off anymore. Wait, hold on. It was thirteen dollars originally. I the think new I caught Wolfenstein it on looks fucking six. Yes, dude, the new Wolfenstein as it well as the. Awesome. Uh, uh, didn't they just release a, the? Is, I feel like that was the like, pre-order FIFA eighteen this week too. Nice. I, let us know how that is. I'm not much I'm of not a, a FIFA sports, guy. Okay. Yeah. Or a sports guy yeah, at all. Like, like I don't do Madden. Game. I don't do baseball. Nope. I was like for me, it's like if I was gonna do that, I'd go out. And play right, I don't do MLB and all that. That can stay on. Well, console. the other reason being or for those outside. ones is the same reason I don't do the Call of Duties anymore. It's just the same game of new. Like That's I need a, a new con. Paste. Yeah, I mean they add new mechanics and new. Yeah, expansive copy paste. Yes, <laughs> it's like all right, expand. Great Call of Duty. Great. It's, Call it's like of they Duty, added a rocket pack. Black Ops One with more maps. Awesome. They got a new zombie mode, which, by the way, I like zombies better when it was called Horde. And like, I mean, the best people, uh, the best version of that type of gameplay is always going to be on Gears of War. So it's like when Call of Duty keeps on copy and pasting, it's 
Not as impressive. No. Really. The problem is the wall mounting system in Gears is too realistic. It is. It's one of the, you know, there's no, there's very few other games with cover. Mm-hmm. Cover is just not a Damn, system they like to deal with. Got tucked down. And, you now, know, the third I like person that, well, but yeah. at the same time, I, that's, that, that's just the one, the one game, Axel, the one game on Xbox, I'm just like, dang it! <laughs> the Gears of War, <laughs> the, the, that the one for that! That was their only one, because I remember there was, what was the, GTA didn't used to be Xbox, you could only play on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember Intel Xbox and 360, Tail. and what is it, San Andreas or GT, GTA? San Andreas, no, but, um, what was it, GTA 4? Maybe it was four. It was, it was four. four. Yep, it was four, four was the first one to drop on all. Or was the it? Wasn't it like the ballad? Dropped of, on Wii. Too. Wasn't it about ba- no? The ballad of Gay Tony came out on a bunch of weird shit. I think that wasn't that PSP. That one was PSP, and then I think like I don't even know, man. I just remember that one. Oh no! Oh wow! It sounded like yeah, it came out for all of them. Yeah, I think that was the first one because I remember it was the first one that I could get and I didn't get it. Because I didn't give a shit and I had no idea who Gay Tony was. Hold on, because I was looking in that up. Isn't that like a? It might have come after that. that after, actually. yeah. Let me see. It was an expansion pack. Okay. Yep. Because I was like, I remember Ballad of Gay Tony, but I don't think that was a full game. No, it was like a little side thing. Yeah. So to- it's totally yep. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. Four was the first one because nah GTA three was only PS what two? Uh, three for sure was yeah, only was two because that only. was the first one that even came out on yep PlayStation. What it came out on Xbox, dude? So I, wow, my whole went life over my is head. shattered. Yeah, that went over my head. Like I don't remember that coming crazy. out on Xbox. Yeah, what the hell? GTA two definitely PS two only. I don't even think it was was it PlayStation. PSP? Yeah, it yeah. was a PlayStation only game because the original one was the top was the arcade top down. Yeah, record breaking stuff. Second most expensive player is only a hundred million. I think it's, he, there's one before that. Uh, so the French team bought Neymar today for two hundred twenty million from Barcelona Football Club. He's going to be on three hundred million a year 30, or thirty million a year. That's about yeah, ten quid a, a second. Jesus, second most expensive player is only a hundred million. That is pretty crazy. Wow. But it is the biggest sport in the world. So, Gears is the truth, DeAndre. Gears. Final Fantasy Brave Exivus putting a sponsored post saying it was on sale for like 50% off. Gonna pre-order FIFA 18 this week. I have the original GTA. Wow. Nice. Nice, man. By the way, speaking of original GTA and arcade games, SNES Classic is coming up, y'all. 80 bucks and you get the 21 games let me, with Star Fox 2. Let me throw something in the air while I know their limited availability. I I, I'm just like, and, and, that's, and that's why I made the sign. I, I'm, I'm nervous. Nintendo is making me very, very they nervous. They always make me nervous. They don't even have, they have been, switches. The last time available. Nintendo made me not nervous was the GameCube. Ooh, Wow. For me, it was Wii, um, because I I, really like the Wii. I, my problem with the Wii was, is I did the iCam thing the PlayStation did. PlayStation, did you ever mm-hmm. do PlayStation? No, I can't. It was actually better than the Wii. Absolutely. It, I don't know what, I think it's because though they went with like the little colors. attachment, right? Yep. The, wait. I no, no, they, they like did, the Vuv or something. No, 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 they had that little thing though you could use, but you didn't have it on all of them. But you, you know the one I'm talking about. They had the popping games and stuff. You had, saw your... Now, I will say it was a little more limited in some aspects. Obviously, you couldn't uh, avatar, but you saw yourself on screen. Your motions were captured and activated yeah. gameplay, and it was consistent and multiplayer. Well, I I don't know. I would I would almost say towards the end end of the PS3's life, it just kind of dropped off. Oh, it did because it wasn't. It was just like for the gone. for the same reason. I will say that the Wii, despite oh, man, being Wii U, especially ah, yeah. Well, and, I mean, the Wii, original Wii had problems too, though. We didn't have the Wi-Fi. What was it? There was no internet connectivity on the original or something? Or it was only... They had to introduce a service later, which was like, dang, why do we have to wait? But I got it by the time they had it, and I, played, I was playing Super Smash Bros. online See, every but night. that's the thing. All right, so besides Super Smash Bros. Period. Not a good one. Uh, <laughs> well, well, hold on. We had Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Which was, which was great, but you could also still then couldn't you play also, it on GameCube? Yeah, yep. and that was my thing. Then, was the play on GameCube felt 
better to me. And Wii U had Skyward Sword, had the uh, Smash Bros. Wii U. It's got t- Nintendo has its um, its franchise games. The games outside of that, they need. To and that was my problem. That. It was such a revolutionary thing at the time that they just didn't take advantage of. And then it was a whole nother console that you had to have set in a specific spot. This was oh, and this yeah, was prior the to the. This was prior to the Kinect, so it was like. You know, no one wanted to do that shit. No. It was like such but, a pain. Uh, connect, you had to have a specific shit. amount of room too, just like with you know what I mean. It has mm-hmm. to. And so, even though it was a good idea, like I said, and 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 to say they probably still did it the best because I don't think Microsoft oh, never, oh, ever did anything revolutionary oh, either. Baby, huh? oh, we are. Huh? Daisy is a zombie survival. Okay, just just what I thought. Where they throw you in the. In, the, in with nothing, and you look for supplies, guns, and clothes, you can find vehicles, fix them, and you have to deal with other online players who will most often try and kill you. Great game. I toy. I have played that. It. I've That sounds familiar. But I, I played it, I man. Played. It's fantastic. You gotta try it out. It's freaking awesome. The thing is, it sounds similar to another game that I can't remember the name of that's basically the same Striking thing. up a resemblance? I toy. Oh, oh, yes. The Sony I toy. That okay, was it. now I know what you got. I was like trying to think. I'm like, are they talking about that Vuv camera or whatever? No, no, like no, no, no. the the whole the, like the eye toy, which by the way was super way back. They the, were ahead of their time with that. They should have the surfer that. guy, like the the air surfing or whatever. You could do I, air I don't surfing. Know what that you was. Do, there was but there's a specific game. Oh, there was were, like an air surfing. Yeah, there was. What's up, Ariana? I remember my dad brought home the original GTA. Then the PS broke, and he tried to fix it. Plugged in, and it blew up in his <gasps> face, and he was blind for a couple hours. Oh, jeez, oh. man, that sounds crazy. Wait, hold on. That was the original PS happened. I could see that. Seven Days to Die. It, it is, but there's a different one, Mikey, where it's more about uh. Where they have more weapons, a couple different craftables. So I don't know about you guys, but I've I never had an overheating problem with my original PlayStation. The I've original nev- I've never were even all good. had heard of that even happening with the PS. The original my, PS. My guess would be, uh, Kai Sil- lives in Europe, and there was something. It might have been a, a hardware. A interface issue. hardware interface and or just design explode. issue between that you know what I mean a design I, issue between but I don't yeah I don't know so I, it was could, very very reliable here my man I don't know but that sucks that might have just been a defective one I I just I'm so sorry, it's probably I'm breaking by rust that. rust might original? be original exactly thank you Andrew rust though I don't know no I, I rust just, is uh game. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that's what we were talking about in the place. No, 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 no. Rust is a game that's a survival what? zombie thing. Gotcha. You know what, Rust? Maybe Rust is the one I'm thinking of. Ooh. Because Rust... But I don't know if Rust is multiplayer. But see... The, it's just... it's it, The thing is, Daisy just sounds similar probably to a couple different games. Yeah, and, I mean... And, which and is fine. Like, several games together. do that anyway. But, uh, every you know, game. you want... What I like about Daisy is the whole online system, the looting, and things of that nature. Quick, unrelated question with anyone buy my truck before I leave? Sorry, man. I'm not in the market for a truck. A defective fan or not enough thermal gel can cause overheating. Oh. Good point, Andrew. Yeah, but the P- the original PS, like I said, like I remember, that thing was a tank. Well, like, they, they dude, built them back was, there. Like the, Back then, they built things. I was definitely down Everything with it. back definitely then was built down better. With it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, in 64. Let's see. Oh God, yeah, they still like, dude. But my my uncle's original I NES. Didn't see that? My, I remember my, the Nintendo games you blew to fix. Mine was snapped in half, and I just taped it back together, and it worked exactly. Yeah, because the monsters. hardware back then was very reliable. Oh, I got a lot of the truck, truck comment. comment. Right, like what? Has anyone played Fortnite? Uh, I think I played once or twice. I have not. not. I need to check it out though. LOL. Thought I'd try. Ha ha. It's selling pretty cheap. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the truck? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, but, but, and, you know. But guys, we're approaching the hour tonight. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we are doing kind of a shorter cast because we're both incredibly busy. Um, did you have any announcements that you wanted to talk about, Axel? Anything's coming up? Anything um, we should be on the lookout for? Mostly just our new series of things. Our website finally, well, not the whole website yet, but the YouTube and the Patreon stuff are all up and running to the where we have everything organized. You can find Good. all the gaming info that 
Most of the episodes are even numbered. They're categorized. They're set up in playlists on the main page. Sounds very organized, man. That's it took up. so long, man. I can only imagine, uh, but that work will it, pay off. It, I hope. Well, you guys check it out. A lot of the most recent uh, episodes too will have like our our heavy editing. We did a lot of light editing back in there because we were doing streaming stuff. Now we're doing uh, video edits and clips, and right we're gonna on. try to start doing even video edits of, like, bigger streamers and try to get into that because... Oh, that'd be great, man. Yeah, well, get some bigger streamers in there. Just Especially kinda if just you can even get a visitor, man. That'd yeah, yeah, and, and even just, like, it'll be good. Just the networking, you know what I mean? Get to talk to them for the edit, video editing <laughs> stuff will be fun. and Absolutely. And just check that out. Uh, we got... A and what's the name company. of the channel? Uh, the channel is, I believe, 3D Productions. But uh, it would be at youtube.com slash Axel Great, so. great, 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 great. We'll drop a link for that as well. Where can, where can I, I, where can either, where can I, can I catch either of you streaming and when? Do you have a specific schedule? Uh, my specific schedule I used to. I'm still working on a new one because okay. I was getting all my life together. We'll definitely, we'll but definitely I'll be let sharing, you know, Sai, uh, si, I usually, uh, I'm trying to do the, the standards here. So, mount, Mountain Time, I usually stream between 8 and midnight, uh, Mondays, Saturdays, Sundays, and then uh, sometimes Tuesdays. Sorry, I only caught the tail end of the show. I usually watch them after the fact. Hey, no problem, Andrew. Thanks for coming out anyway. Yeah, thanks for watching them after the fact, too. We appreciate it, everyone. Oh, yeah. I mean, any and, view at any time. Yeah, and, is, and if you ever want to talk about you know stuff, feel free to comment on the page or message us I'll on the page. I'll pull alerts on love. your YouTube channel so I'll get a notification. Nice. And by the way... I'm also launching a YouTube channel, and I'm doing Sunday Game of Thrones chats on Instagram, guys. This is going to be post-Game of Thrones, so maybe like an hour after, maybe like 30 minutes after, but me and some other people are going to get together, and we're just going to talk Game of Thrones, guys, on the Blurred Blog Instagram. Feel free to please come through and chat, because it's going to be the same interactive style as this. It's, we're really going to talk about and break down the episode, and hopefully we'll get you guys' input as well. Um, I've also started a Game of Thrones group on Facebook. If you're not a part of it, feel free to join. If you are caught up on Game of Thrones, I recommend being caught up before joining because it is heavy spoiler. I allow spoilers for the fact that this is for the latest and greatest about Game of Thrones. I'll have to leave the spoiler group. Actually, lol, I don't see it till the till. And you can actually turn notifications off. I do that for turn all the my notifi groups. Yeah, turn the notifications off so then inside you won't see a single thing. Once you do that, it won't even pop up on your timeline. Yeah, you just go find it later. Yep. Just and feel free to turn the notifications off, so then that way you won't be spoiled. Yeah, because yeah, spoiled. me and Leo have to do that a lot with the groups we're in. We're in, we're in hundreds of groups, yeah. man. Like, I think I'm in, like, 35 groups of the comics areas alone. Like, this is not counting movies, this is not counting video games, this is not counting... In, in separate video game groups. I mean, there's so much. There's I did kinds. that so I could watch the third episode of season three. Yeah, good idea. Turn them off if you don't want spoilers. Sarah, what's up, Sarah? We're actually no, wrapping up and closing yep, right now. Um, but also, tune into the blurredblog.com, guys. That is my my home base. Um, you'll see a blog post every week for me about the latest in movies, great snackable content. And guys, I'm looking forward to you guys tuning into my stuff. I can't wait. But guys, Take care. Okay, take care, guys. Chat next week. Thank you, Cy. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys, uh, so before much. Before the video ends, uh, as we're supposed to do every time, uh, we want to give a special thanks to all of our patrons on our Patreon account, which is patreon.com slash comaconvos, for those interested in helping us create more content, better content, and provide prizes for our listeners in live. Which always keep in tune. We try to do that on Fridays when we have a Yay, the Mad Like Train. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. And uh, thanks to Cy Kennedy, uh, Su Susie Marie, and, and Tyler Lockridge. Lockridge. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks for and thanks, in. everybody, for tuning in tonight. We will see you next week. See you next Good week. Good night. Guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.